Jeffrey hates girls. Why wouldn't he? They hate him too. They are the enemy, guys. They're, they're, they're all hoes and we should just f*** them and throw them out to the streets. They, they, they'd do the same to you if you're under six foot tall. No, it's not my personality. I have an awesome personality. Girls don't like me just because I'm not rich or six foot four. Younger Hamza was fed up of not having a girlfriend. All of his friends had one. He wanted one too. And so he had the choice. Be better or be bitter. And he chose better. He started going to the gym, going out to clubs and parties and going on Tinder and Instagram. And he actually started getting more attention. Soon enough, Hamza got himself a girlfriend. Yay! But they broke up. No! But younger Hamza became a degenerate and started getting more girls than ever. Yay! He learned to pick up and game and went out to nightclubs three times a week and started consistently hooking up with girls. But all this effort, all this time, all of the bad habits that were coupled with this, late nights, alcohol and drugs and low quality friends. If only he knew that there was a better way. Adonis. Adonis has no trouble attracting women. Sure, he's made some mistakes when he was younger, but he quickly learned that the best way to get girls was not by following the advice of everyone else. Adonis witnessed the Jeffrey uprising. He saw the masses spend their lives on social media. He looked in shame at the degenerates in the dirty nightclubs. He wondered why so few men attract women in the right way. Looking f***ing a huge cut. Porn has conditioned young men that they can have it all. That you don't need to put in the work into your looks, your money, your lifestyle. You can just hop on your favorite website, find millions of girls who want to f*** you straight away. And so we need to recalibrate our minds. Because you have to understand as a young man, you're not really supposed to be attracting women right now. You're young and women date upwards. And as men, it's usually easier for us to date a girl who's a few years younger than us. Because let's say when you're 16 years old and there's a 16 year old girl in your class who you're attracted to. Well, the chances are that she likes a 17 or an 18 year old guy. Why? Well, think about what our attractiveness is based on. It's confidence, looks, gym, money, status, lifestyle. And all of those things come with time. And so the 18 year old that your princess likes probably drives a car, has a better life than you. It's probably got more muscle from the gym than you, probably has more money than you, more social and sexual experiences. And he's all around just more confidence. And this shouldn't depress you. It should give you hope. Dating is supposed to take time for men. And so how do you actually get girls? Do your thing and let them come. Focus on building your life first. Focus entirely on hitting these six milestones and you'll find that women will naturally enter your life without much effort from you. One, go to the gym, lift weights, build muscle. Okay, you could be exercising for sport, fantastic, but specifically you need to be building an aesthetic muscular body. I've put the workout routines that I recommend in the description for free. Start a good career or business. Now this potentially could mean studying and getting a degree. It could mean becoming an entrepreneur and trying some business ideas. Have a vibrant social circle. And this is probably one of the most important milestones for young men to actually get some girls. Because if you come home from school and you spend your entire time and just like sat there on your crusty computer chair eating your food whilst on your computer. You're not going to attract girls because girls won't want to enter your life. They want to enter the life of a man who's actually having fun. Of course they do. Like what date could you even take her out on if all you do is come home and go on your computer? And the vibrant social circle is just so important for your own life and your, your own development and having friends that you can rely on. You can all like lift weights together and go to parties together. The fourth thing you should work on is confidence. And confidence is kind of like a weird concept that we all want it, but we don't really know exactly what it is or how to get it. It's literally a skill that you can level up. And the way that we level up skills is that we literally just go search online for books or methods on that skill. We read the book, we learn about how to like improve your confidence, we go out there and practice and it's a bit awkward but we get better and better over time. The confidence gap is the book that I'm reading. The fifth and very important milestone to focus on, instead of focusing on girls, focus on this, is to make sure that you have no mental health issues. That's social anxiety and depression. So many young guys have like way bigger problems than a lack of girls in their lives. They've literally got depression, they've got anxiety, but they focus on the wrong thing. Depre- like... <sighs> Honestly, it sounds horrible, but depression makes you ugly. Anxiety makes you ugly. It's just how it works. You could be like an attractive guy, but if you have anxiety, you're not going to end up showing yourself to the real world. If you truly have depression right now and you're not trying to solve it in any way, you're not getting therapy for it, or you're not at least like doing some healthy practices like eating right and exercise and sleeping more, then you're going to be literally just a downer to be around. And I know that this sounds quite insensitive, but this is coming from someone who had pretty severe anxiety. And I can't believe that people wanted to, like some people stayed around me. It was so common for a girl and even like guys to get around me, notice that, you know, there's something wrong with me. I'm, I'm anxious all the time. I'm uncomfortable about stuff. And then they just slowly like start like, you know, getting away from it because you don't really want to be around someone like that. And the sixth milestone to work on is to learn some game, some pickup and some red pill fundamentals. You can definitely overdo it with this one. You can become like a full on red pill degenerate, full on like pickup artist who goes day gaming and shit. But just reading maybe a, a couple of the books, watching a couple of the YouTube videos, but like keep like a distance from this community. You don't want to get like too like drawn into it like I did. You don't want to dive deep into it. But if you can understand some of the fundamentals of game and red pill, for example, 
will push and pull and demonstrate high value. That'll be very, very helpful for you. These are things that normal, healthy men do just naturally. But us cave dwellers on our internet and you know our technology and shit, we kind of forgotten how to do it. And so for example, the red pill and some game stuff will teach you how to stop being creepy and needy. And in fact, that's an article by this guy. I don't know how you pronounce it, Wujo or something. But I'll link it below to like a fucking big ass article. But that's like, this is a guy from the red pill sphere who's made a fantastic guide on how to stop being creepy and needy. And that's something that you'd hugely benefit from because you are a fucking creep. <laughs> And that right there is the framework to actually get girls. Focus on these six things and just enjoy the women who really want to enter your life. The women who don't want to enter your life, the women that you have to fucking run after, they should be invisible to you because instead of focusing on those girls, you're going to focus on these six milestones. And you might say, but Hamza, how am I supposed to attract girls if I'm focused on something else? And that shows me that you don't go outside much because girls who are into you, girls who are attracted to you, they make it obvious. They're literally like, I you, they'll look at you, you'll, you'll catch them looking at you like three times. They'll smile, they'll follow you on Instagram, they'll start liking your pictures. Now the point of the six milestones was to give you something to focus on above women. And the sixth milestone teaches you what to do when women show a bit of interest to you. Attracting girls is about attracting. Pull, pull, don't push, don't go after girls. Let them gravitate towards you. Be a magnet, not a repellent like most young guys. Do your thing and let them come. And to be honest, you do need to know what to do to, you know, once they've come to you, once they've made themselves obvious, they, they've gave you you an indicator of interest. You do need to know what to do. And the thing is, you know, I could break down loads of things. Like you should uh, touch her this way and look at her this way. One of the things that no one really tells young guys is that you just kind of need experience. Every guy has messed up so many times with a bunch of girls. Like any guy who actually gets girls will tell you that he's been rejected so many times. He says stupid stuff before. He stuttered before. He's just like weirdly looked at a girl. He felt like a creep. Every guy will tell you that that's what, like you, you just have to go through the trials and tribulations. You just need more experiences with girls. But the issue is that those experiences with girls for some guys are so rare that when it's about to come, for example, you've got a date and you haven't had a date in a while, then of course you, you place like a, a big value. You put it on the pedestal of, you know, I've got to make sure that the, the date goes right. The issue is by caring so much, you lower your chances of success in the date if you wanted to like, you know, do well on the dates. So before you go on the date or before you text a girl back, you go onto YouTube for your favorite red pill YouTuber and like watch three of his videos first. And so instead of that, instead of trying to reach for perfection, not wanting to lose this opportunity, you should have almost like a meta thought where you kind of like think like, huh, gee whiz, like, you know, I'm young right now and it's not supposed to be good but I'm just gonna try and be mindful and grateful of the experience. This is the only framework of getting girls which isn't a degenerate waste of time. Going out to approach hundreds of girls, constantly going to parties and nightclubs and taking drugs and like staying up late and constantly just being on Tinder and f***ing up your mental health and Instagram. Honestly all of those are disgusting ways to get girls. Like it, It's like a very instant gratification-y way of trying to get girls. Not only for the habits that you get into with that lifestyle where you're staying up late, you're eating like dirty food, you're constantly just messing up your mental health and you're going to clubs taking drugs but also for the tier of women that you attract now you can have physical intercourse with a woman that you like meet in the nightclub but did you literally just mess up your entire sort of nighttime routine give yourself sleep deprivation drink take drugs to have x minutes of instant gratification pleasure was it really like that was like the height of your night like you'd really really wanted this to happen every three nights out four or five nights out you get to like sleep with a drunk girl who like doesn't even like know you or like you and you don't even like her you just kind of using each other's bodies. If you've ever found yourself focusing on a girl, you've lost. Move on. Find a girl who's focusing on you. Adonis focuses on himself. Girls focus on Adonis. And Jeffrey focuses on the girls. Pick which one you want to be. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it.